Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oiz, and welcome back to Terraria Journey Mode. In the last episode, we were able to head to the jungle, uh, get some chlorophyte, which allowed us to upgrade pretty much all of our stuff, as well as starting to get some life fruits. So today, uh, we were also, last episode, looking for um, materials to make the Ankh, uh, and thus the, uh, was it the Ankh shield? I think is what it's called. I don't remember exactly. Um, I've used it so many times. But uh, anyways, I have not really done too much farming um, between episodes. I did talk to this guy and bought everything he had so we can duplicate all of that, which is what we're going to do. Uh, as well as uh, we got a bottomless water bucket from the uh, fisherman kid, uh, which is, well, exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it allows us to place infinite amounts of water. Um, kind of cool. But we're going to go ahead and research all of this stuff um, before we continue on today. So, like I said, I haven't done too much in terms of uh, getting anything uh, in terms of, like, more materials to make the Ankh. But uh, we'll get there. So we're going to sell the rest of the stuff because why not? Uh, I bought too much of it. And today's plan is pretty simple. We're going to go kill Plantera. Um, no reason not to. And I, I want to clarify one quick little thing. Um, this series, the goal of it is to collect every item in the game. Um, and so eventually we will actually have to go into master mode. Um, because there are master mode and expert mode. Uh, a kind of equivalent. Uh, that are master mode items that are... Uh, exclusive so we have to do expert mode and master mode bosses um, in order to do that what we're gonna end up doing is probably just uh, you know doing the whole let's just go ahead and change the difficulty uh, and do like a boss rush episode um, that's kind of the plan for that uh, real quick I want to see what does it take to make true Excalibur oh chlorophyte well, I just so happen to have a bunch of that. Um, so let's get some. Actually, do we have... I renamed these chests, and I didn't rename any of these, because I don't know why. I just didn't. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any chlorophyte uh, remaining. So let's go ahead and get some. And we only need 24... So I'm going to try to get exact numbers. <laughs> Remember not to left click, right click. Uh, and then can we make true, nut, true Excalibur? So this is 86. Um, not as strong, but definitely interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and research this. Uh, and... Then we can always get another one if I get rid of all that stuff. Um, so there is True Excalibur, and now True Excalibur is a material, and I'm wondering... We need a broken hero sword. We can't get that yet. Uh, well, uh, can we? No, I don't believe we can get that yet. Um, I know where that comes from. And that's really cool, but we can't get that quite yet. So we're going to put this in the, like, to-do chest. Uh, this, by the way, is my to-do chest. I don't know if I've mentioned that explicitly. Um, but basically, I have all of, we're going to keep all the items we're kind of working on in here. And then anytime I get uh, materials off camera that is, like, uh, the, the endless water bucket or whatever, uh, I'll store them in here. Um, but we have this crystal... And I don't remember what this does. So it's a powerful leaf crystal to to do things. Anyways, we need to go to the jungle, and the jungle's the other way, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're gonna go hunt Plantera. I believe the Broken Hero Sword. Um, if I remember correctly, it's been a little bit. Uh, I believe Mothron drops that, which is a kind of mini boss during uh, solar eclipses. Uh, which I don't think we've encountered one of those yet. Um, oh, cool. So the set bonus is working. 
Um, the thing with that though is I don't believe it drops the Broken Hero Sword until after um, Plantera is defeated. So it's it's going to be a while anyways. Um, you know, we should probably finish buffing, but whatever. Uh, I think our Leaf Crystal broke some pots underground, uh, which is interesting. Anyways, let's head to the jungle. Uh, in the jungle, there is going to be hopefully some uh, Plantera bulbs we can find fairly easily. I guess we should continue going. Um, we're not in the jungle yet, uh, but hopefully we can find one that is close to a decently... Uh, open area so we can fight uh, fight Plantera uh, on decently uh, level playing ground basically. Uh, one thing to kind of note about Plantera is if we leave the jungle, specifically the underground jungle, uh, Plantera will enrage. And what that means is, uh, well, what it sounds, Plantera will get more difficult. Uh, it will be a little bit more damaging and a lot quicker uh, and that's not what we want to deal with right now so we'll want to make sure that we stay in the jungle underground um, where the bulbs spawn anyways so it's not that big of a deal but uh, Violet Husk, hey we need those we probably have enough of those now uh, but yeah so it's just one of those things that we'll have to kind of keep in mind. Uh, now, Plantera gives off a uh, pinkish glow. And that's kind of how you can tell, you know, where Plantera is. Also, we want to kill those toxic slimes and hornets um, to hopefully get some drops that we're looking for. Um, specifically, the Bezoar, uh, the poison preventing thing uh, and there's a plantera bulb okay uh, and honestly this isn't too bad uh, I think we can I think we can work with this area um, let's at the very least set up some things uh, let's get a campfire uh, just for the health regeneration and all we need to do is Break it. And Plantera is here. So we'll just shoot Plantera a bunch. Um, Plantera will shoot us. And this is a fairly like small area. But it's fine. Um, Plantera should not be too difficult for us. Um, and now it's going to be a little bit easier. Uh, less defense. Um, but yeah, this is the easiest game mode. So I'm not too worried about, like, we can tank most of the damage. Um, when we get to Master Mode, it's going to be difficult. Um, that's why we're going to basically cheese it, and uh, eventually I will do a full Master Mode playthrough. Um, but there we go. Plantera is defeated. Uh, so we got a bunch of stuff for that. We'll look at that in a second. But to finish my thought, um, eventually we will do a full Master Mode um, playthrough without, you know, like, um, uh, like from the beginning, not doing journey mode or anything like that. Uh, but, uh, that will be kind of another time type of thing. Uh, and it will be a full, full thing. Uh, it's going to be difficult and all that kind of fun stuff. Hey, the sorry Borg. Um, that is the next NPC. But, um, yeah, for now, like, don't really care too much. You know, let's pop a Night Owl so we can see a little bit better. And uh, Plantera only drops certain things. Um, so we're going to see what all Plantera had for us today. But we got a message. Um, screams echo from the dungeon. So the dungeon is now open. One thing we are guaranteed to get is the Temple Key, which uh, allows us to go to... The jungle temple, which we found, uh, it's down here. The entrance is right there. Uh, so Plantera was not too difficult. Like I said, in journey mode, we can kind of tank all the stuff. Um, let's get rid of that. And 
Violet husks. Research that. I accidentally grabbed a stack of campfires. Uh, we got a seedling. Ooh, a pet sapling. Um, before we duplicate that, let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, so the seedling is kind of adorable. Uh, we've been using the birdie rattle. Uh, I don't know if what the hotkey is. Oh, it's the harpy. Um, you know, well, let's duplicate the seedling and grab another one. Uh, and the seedling is kind of adorable. Uh, we got, ooh, we got rockets. Uh, so we got the temple key. We'll want to duplicate that. And then we also got a grenade launcher. So I've never actually used the grenade launcher. It does a lot of damage, apparently. I don't know if it damages us or not. Um, but we don't have enough rockets to duplicate. We can buy those, though, so that's not that big of a deal. The seedling is actually really cute. Uh, I like him. Alright, so let's just kill things. Um, the jungle, if you don't know, by the way, has a higher spawn rate than pretty much every place in the game. Uh, jungles are really good for getting a couple of things, um, which we might end up doing somewhat. Um, but not right now. It's not important right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab a new jungle key. And bef all right, we're gonna sell some jungle keys. Uh, let's head down to the jungle dungeon. Oh, hey, and that's the item we need, by the way. It's a bezoar. Um, you know, it's not hard to get back here. Let's go home. Let's kind of reset things a little bit. So, uh, bezoar. Duplicated. Hornet Bander. Banner. Duplicated. And get another one of those. And that goes in here. So that is an easier one to get. Um, toxic Sledges and all the bee stuff drops it. Um, but now we have the option. We can go to the, uh, the temple. We also got some jungle torches. Alright. Let's do one of these. All right, these flowers, sky blue flowers will go in here. Um, Violet husk can come out. Uh, and I guess we'll sell some potions. Because we don't need all this stuff. Uh, and we'll sell all those things. But we do need to buy some rockets. And Mr. Cyborg over here should sell them. Um, he also sells um, other rockets. So we need rocket ones. And might as well sell temple keys. And the birdie rattle. And all this stuff to him as well. Um, nanites are materials. That he... Sells a bunch of things. Absorbs liquids on ro on things. Um, so rocket ones are small blast radius. Does not destroy tiles. Rocket threes um, are larger, but still do not destroy tiles. So good to know. Anyways, let's go ahead and duplicate the rockets. I don't ra really have any desire to use those currently. Um, and then quick stack money. Okay. So, do we want to go to the dungeon, or do we want to go temple? Let's go to the dungeon. Uh, let's go farm some enemies from the dungeon, because that'll be nice and easy. Um, and we might even get a couple of things we need. Um, there are two things now that we can get from the dungeon. Um, because defeating Plantera and causing the dungeon to scream at you um, unlocks a different uh, a bunch of different enemies actually so the dungeon is now a lot more difficult what that means for us is actually kind of nice um, we get the opportunity to get a bunch of new items 
uh, including some of the best uh, accessories in the game. Uh, because there are going to be fairly rare, but still common enough spawns uh, in the dungeon. We're going to have to farm the dungeon quite a bit. Uh, and most of that we'll probably do on camera. I won't do too much of that, like, on my own. Um, whereas dealing with, like, getting all of the onk stuff, uh, most of it you guys have already kind of... I've already kind of said what they are type of things, what we need to farm. And so it's going to be mostly a... Uh, uh, it's it's going to be mostly a, like fairly simple task of just going and finding the enemies and killing a bunch of them. So uh, we're going to head to the dungeon because the dungeon is a little bit more entertaining. Um, there is a lot of enemies and hopefully we can get what we want. So for right now, the big thing that we're doing here is um, we're looking for a couple of things. And there's a few other things I don't think I have. So, yeah, we're gonna have to start working towards getting keys. And this is this is something that is kind of broken at times. Uh, what we want to do is get biome keys, and there are six or seven or so. I actually don't know the exact number, um, but there are chests down in the dungeon that will uh, yeah allow us to get some really powerful items um, that's the whole point of them so there are some new enemies that you guys are gonna see very soon uh, to be fair some of the enemies look um, remarkably similar to others um, but there's one the giant cursed skull um, he's really annoying there is one of the first Oh my gosh. Uh, giant Chris Skulls. We also have uh, Hell Armor Bones. Those guys are uh, important. Because I believe they're one of the things that can drop what we want. There's the Necro uh, Necromancer. He's a new enemy. Um, the Diabolus. No, Necromancer is not, but the Diabolus is. He drops an, a unique item. We're also really slow right now. Um, so we're just gonna fight a bunch of these guys and you know what let's switch ammo uh, and we're gonna get some new item items as well we're gonna get ectoplasm so basically anything um, that has a decently high health pool uh, has a chance of dropping or spawning rather a spirit a dungeon spirit which will give us ectoplasm and that is a new um, or type of thing we have a skeleton commander yeah we're seeing everybody we also really need to be careful about our health um, okay this is not good. Uh, I don't really like being, being slow. Uh, that kind of make things, makes things really difficult. Um, I really dislike the, the giant skulls. They didn't used to do the uh, um, one attack where they shoot the... Oh, hey, it's uh, Bone Lee. And we got his drop, the tabby. That is really good. Wow, we're getting a lot of good things. Uh, and that's kind of the, the way the dungeon is. Um, by the way, the different enemies spawned based on different wall patterns. Um, so you can kind of see this wall where I'm standing is different from this one. Uh, you can also tell uh, the like faction based on uh, the banners that are hanging around. Uh, so like these these banners right here are signs of Diabolist and uh, the Hell Armor dues. So that's kind of the other thing. They're still dropping. Um, by the way, there is a uh, one dude. Um, Bonely. And that looks like a bone feather. 
it is. So that is a new pair of wings. Wow, we're getting a lot of new things. Very quickly, too. Uh, let's go down this way. Yeah, so boom the... Uh, the giant thing can drop one of the items we need for the... Uh, um, which is one we really need to get because it's prevent being cursed. Uh, which is what we get when they hit us. Um, where we can't use our weapon. Um, so yeah, we're getting the quick tabby, the bone feather, um, some ectoplasm. Uh, it'll take a while to get all the ectoplasm we need to duplicate, but that's okay. I really hate the spikes. Uh, alright. So, unholy arrows, that's something we've had for a while. Oh, I wasn't paying enough attention to my health. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so... Uh, let's get to crafting some things. So, we have the climbing claws. Um, but before we do anything, let's favorite that. Uh, we'll favorite those two, just in case. And let's quick stack everything else. Alright. First things first. Quick tabby. Researched. Bone feather. Researched. Um, let's go ahead and grab the bone feather. And as far as I'm aware, it's only used for one thing. Um, and then we also want to grab the tabby. Uh, so, uh, do we have... Let's see, they're going to be in here. Souls of Flight. With this, we should be able to make the Bone Wings. Uh, those are warding, so we're going to make another one. Uh, and let's go ahead and duplicate that. Um, now, I don't know if these are better or not than the Fin Wings, but they do look cool. Uh, decently, yeah, I think these are better. So we'll put the fin wings away. Uh, and then the other thing we need to do is we need to find the shoe spikes. So with these three items, and this I believe we do at the tinker table, we can combine them to make the tiger climbing gear. Um, oh, the shoe spikes and then the, uh, the climbing claws makes the tiger climbing gear. Which, if we just go to the accessories, there it is. Uh, and then, what is it that we need? There's one more item I think we need. And I don't remember what it is. Oh, we need the black belt. That's right. Which I believe uh, Bone Lee also drops. By the way, I'm, I'm not joking about his name. If we look at the bestiary... Um, His name is actually Bone Lee. But yeah, he's in the dungeon. Um, there's a lot of things we can do with that. But uh, anyways, we'll have to kill a lot of things for all the um, bestiary, which I think is something we'll also try to finish. Um, we'll buy that. That's two platinum. Wow. Ten pad tie. A star hairpin, which is a vanity item. Uh, winter cape. Okay, cool. So, we're going to put these guys in here. Let's duplicate all of this. And quick stack. Awesome. Okay. Um, real quick. Bobby, what do you need? Hungerfish. Uh, do I already have that? Um, no. Okay, so I'll have to do that, hopefully. Uh, it's found in the caves. Found in the caverns. Let's go get that, and then... Um... Yeah, I think that should be fine. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do that. Apologies, I was trying to decide where to go. Um, and then, do we want to unlock... I, I don't think I want to go to the 
uh, dungeon, the uh, the jungle temple. It's a temple, not a dungeon. The dungeon is where we just were. I think let's go back to the dungeon. Um, and get some work done there. Um, so let's get that equipped. And I think this will work. Hopefully it will. Um, we can always get a pop of sonar potion if we wanted to. But no big re reason to. Alright, um, please die. And we'll get this. Alright, so, um, Rock Lobster. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work or not. But, uh, I'm going to try not to take too much time. We just need the Hungry Fish. And then we can get on our way. Or I could just forget about it. And do that another time. Let's give it like... Let's go to different... Because it said caverns. I don't know that we're far enough down. No, caverns is... I don't remember. <laughs> um, let's go further down. Oh my gosh, it's all the toxic slimes. Or er, sludges, rather. And a unicorn. Okay. So, that's a unicorn statue. Um, we also have a butterfly statue and sunflower statue. So, the unicorn statue we can put back. Um, but we'll duplicate the other two. Uh, statues are good to have. Because uh, we can do things with that. Uh, making them um, spawn enemies and that kind of stuff. Uh, really useful. But let's just head down. Try to find a better water uh, source to fish in. Uh, let's go to this one over here. Someday I will get him to drop his item. Uh, the, the, the chaos or illusion elemental thing, whatever that guy is called. Um, they drop something that is incredibly rare, uh, but is actually super useful, uh, specifically against the Moon Lord, the final boss of the game. Um, hey, look, it's a gelatinous crystal. We have enough of those currently, so. Uh, Alright, give this just a second. Alright, wasn't working. Okay. That looks like a better watering hole, so let's go over there, and pick up some pearl stone, pick up some emeralds, why not, doesn't matter. We have a really good pick now, so that's nice. Uh, Alright, so we'll just stand here. And hopefully we can get the hungry fish fairly easily. Um, but I'm not going to give it too long because I don't want to bore you guys with fishing. Uh, this is something that is... Um, it is fun. You get a lot of good things from fishing. But uh, it's just not entertaining video. Um, so I'll give it a couple more. But in the meantime, let's talk about kind of where we're at now. With Plantera being defeated, there is a bunch of things we can now get. Um, all enemies in all the different biomes have a very small chance uh, of dropping biome keys. Uh, and bio key biome keys will allow us to open up all the different uh, biome chests that are in the dungeon. Um, now that we've defeated Plantera, technically we could have gotten these at any point since uh, entering hard mode. Um, but now that Plantera is defeated, we can actually use them. Alright, okay. I've had enough. Let's go home. Just drop off everything. Uh, quick stack all that. Quick stack that. Alright, cool. Um, 
And honestly, I think that's where we're going to probably end today. So, um, to kind of finish my thought, uh, the, the biome keys, we could have gotten at any point, but we just haven't yet. Um, we'll get them eventually, and, you know, using them and all that kind of stuff is not too bad. Um, and what they give us is really powerful items. They're really interesting. Some of them are really cool. But um, we have options now. We can continue farming the dungeon, or we can start fighting uh, the, uh, the the jungle temple, which leads us to the next boss, the golem. Um, and then there's like two bosses before the final like segment, um, plus a couple of events. Uh, we need to do the old ones army. Maybe that's what we'll start with next time, um, because. Uh, this is going to be the last time we'll be in the tier 2 of the like difficulty. Um, as soon as we beat the golem, uh, it goes into the final phase. Uh, and might as well do what we can before then. Um, we need to be able to duplicate the defender medals. Uh, we need 50 of them, so might as well get that done. So, that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, Plantera was really easy to defeat. Um, not surprising. Again, this is the easiest difficulty, so it's not that big of a surprise. Uh, I'm going to go try to get some fish and see what I can do hunting uh, enemies, see if I can't get any of the other stuff, and we'll come back next time and probably work more in the dungeon um, and do the Old Ones Army. So that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!